My name is Dewey Jones. I film Colorado off-road trails and today we are doing Cliffhanger 2.0 made famous by TFL and this right here is Truth or Dare. We're going to take the Cherokee and Wranglers on it and see if the Cherokee can actually do it. Let's go. If you are new here, welcome. We are an off-road channel focused on covering off-road trails. Now this trail is Cliffhanger 2.0, which has been used by the popular YouTube channel, The Fast Lane Car. They test their most capable off-road vehicles on this one. Now by the end of the video, we will tell you what you need to conquer this trail and if it's a worthy trail for testing your vehicle. We love all kinds of off-roaders here, and these are the specs of the vehicles that we used in this video. We also have a walk around of that Jeep Cherokee available for your viewing. Okay, let's talk about this terrain, because if you were like me, you're probably saying this doesn't look very tough. Now I'm with you and I used to be skeptical of TFL when they would test their vehicles here. However, I think this video will show you that it's truly trickier than it looks. I'll even show you some built off rotors not affiliated with this channel on the trail at the very end. You know, just in case you don't trust the channel with the name Mall Crawler in its name. Now the thing is, this trail is steeper than it looks and it's extremely loose with dirt and small rocks that are specialists at fooling a vehicle's traction control system. So let's see how we do, especially how Sean, who has a very sophisticated traction control system, does on this trail. Okay, yeah, if you are new here, yes, I'm aired up, yes, my tires are worn out, but I'm not new to off-roading. I'm just trying to get you great video. Got it. That's what I did. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Ah. You're on say, like really loose sand right now. Uh, I'm curious if the other KL that was gonna come with us today, if he would have been able to do it. His tires are really bald, so traction's really an issue. Even for him. <laughs> Don't jinx him. <laughs> but uh, it may have crossed my mind. I mean, like I said, I think the momentum was it for me. Otherwise, I would have had to front lock it. And I don't even know if that would have helped that much. He doesn't like doing it locked since he has to, yeah. Yeah. See how much that right so his driver tire get spinning? Now you saw that front driver tire spinning. See momentum. Alright, now we aren't quite done yet as we are heading into stage three, which was named the Razor Rocks by TFL. They named it this as they believed a lot of the rocks in this section could cause a sidewall tear pretty easily. Now if you're watching this in later 21, you'll know Sean doesn't have the best of luck with sidewalls. And if you're looking for that video, check out Redcone. That's where you're going to see it. Even though we are not quite done with Sean yet on this trail, let's break it down right now. Now we rated this trail as one of our top trails to test your rig on because despite not looking like much, it'll expose the weaknesses in your vehicle or you as a driver. 
Now this trail is close to Boulder, yet it offers a lot of fun in a short amount of terrain, and we definitely recommend it. However, don't count on it to satisfy a full day of wheeling. Now there's a couple of different ways to conquer this trail, but let's start at the most obvious. Good tire tread and airing down is the key. I'd also have skid plates as you may need to give it a lot of gas to get through it. A lift is unnecessary, but bigger tires will give you more surface area for grip in the terrain. However, I definitely re-gear so you are getting the most out of your lift. Those are our keys to success here, but will Sean finally conquer Dare on day two, which is coming up shortly. Now that we've made it to the top, we're going to chill here for a bit with some views and brews. It's a pretty rocky trail. Always drink responsibly and know we just taste the beer for an authentic trail beer experience. This means we only drink a full beer or two if we are camping and not driving. Stay tuned for future episodes because we're gonna take that Cherokee back out there and we're gonna make sure it gets through Dare. Cross your fingers and toes, please. Piece of cake. Not a huge IPA fan, but this stuff's pretty good. Well, I'm asking what you think about making it up there. Oh, I, to be honest, I never thought it was gonna happen, like at all. So I feel I feel relieved. I feel satisfied, and I'm happy. So are you? Who gets down the slowest? Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Yeah, because I kind of lurched a little bit getting into gear. You are, but we are both going the same speed right now. Maybe I shouldn't be having my foot on the gas. What's the gas? Probably not. Oh, your crawl control is better. Go up there. Thank you so much for watching this video now. I hope you enjoyed it and the fact that Sean actually made it up there with his new lift. So I think the mods were worth it, right? All right, sweet. So thank you so much for watching. Now, if you want to see more of Sean's KL, click up there. If you want to see what YouTube thinks you'll like, click right over there. And if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you. We would love to have you. This is a team here. So click over here. We have so many good trail guides coming up so i hope you stay tuned for those because i will edit them eventually